Okay, hi David. Um, we're now in the Fine Arts Building, and this is Professor Neil Slaughter, who is teaching a live drawing class. This class is also required for fine art, art education, and art therapy students. Uh, Neil will be talking to us about his work with the class this semester. Okay, this is Art 11, which is life drawing. And I have um, the model standing here. He's on break at the moment. That's why he's in that row. Um, why, did, why did that get changed? I wasn't sure if he wanted me to pose or not. Yeah, well, no, no, no. I, well, he got confused. We, I wanted him to keep it in the same setup as it was because I wanted to, you to be able to look at these drawings here and then look over at the setup. He, he got mixed up, so never mind. But we'll just move on. So these drawings are from life, from this model who's currently taking a break in, in the red road. And uh, you can, if you want to follow me, we can look at several of these. We're in the, uh, I think this is the second week. This is, we started last week, is that right? We got one more week. And the, the drawings are composed or comprised of being drawn on gray paper and heightened with white using charcoal and Conti crayons. And it's, a, it's simply a value study. We're working with uh, black, white, and as many gray tones as we can get in between the highlights and the doors. So you can come over here, see several more. So as you see, of course, as you go around, you'll see the same model from different perspectives, different stances. I don't know if you need to go in and see one up close, but essentially what happens is, this is a, a good one because she's built it up. We start light. I always say start from the general, work towards the specific. So this is still somewhat generalized, but she started with the light, and all of them started with light kind of gestural studies in vine charcoal, and then they moved to the compressed charcoal. And they use both combination of the eraser to pull back to some of the gray paper as well as using the white Conte to highlight wherever the light is strongest on the figure, thereby utilizing some of the gray of the paper. It's not to be something that's completely covered up. It's, it's used in conjunction with the Conte and the charcoal and the, uh, the white for highlights. So there are varying degrees of finish. But I think if you want to just keep panning around, I don't know that we can see this one. And there's one here. The drawings that are up in the background on the hall on the wall are left over from this morning because another class that's in here that I teach that is also a figure drawing class, we're in the middle of conducting pastels. And so I always provide examples of whatever it is that we're doing, as I did with this class. They, uh, last week I had a series of uh, same thing, Conti crayon on gray paper put up on the wall. And so um, that's essentially how it, how it goes. It's a great class. And uh, David, you can see this face. This is a studio that we've been using for a long time uh, for primarily drawing and painting classes. We also have an MFA space. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe uh, Donna could take you next door to the cubicles where the graduate students work. I think we're going to do that, Professor Slaughter. And then when I'm through, I'll come back and say goodbye to everyone. Okay. Thank you, class. All right, That's Professor. My, my thing is set up over there. Yeah, over. So we're we're going to walk in. Hey, Donna. Yes. Why don't you interview Jordan since he's here? So oh, we'll okay. That'll be great, Jordan. Come with us. Uh, this is the room 
which is another large studio that we converted to small compartments for our MFAs. And what's wonderful about this situation here at Post is that the MFA students can work closely with the undergrads in the studio, so they're sharing ideas and sharing skills. Do you want to talk a little bit about Jordan? Oh, certainly. Jordan, your work is where? Right here? Yes, I'm, I'm along this wall. And I have a few here, a few more in my studio space. But yeah, here we see a larger series I've been working on. This here on the wall, it's sort of a sort of a macabre sort of set. But um, my work deals with the idea of the narrative potential of image and material. And so what I have here is almost a loose sort of story, a world, referencing an inner mythology from, you know, the things that I see in my mind and that sort of thing. So they're very interpretive, very imaginative, otherworldly. And they deal with such things as like isolation, death, loneliness, what have you. But I, I make different paintings, I organize them in this particular sequence. I like to have them arranged a certain way so that the colors in one pick up on another. I, I see them as separate entities, but I like for them to be seen together in a unit. And similarly, while I'm not working on these, I have other bodies of work. Like This is a series of cloud studies I've been working on. They're um, I'm just doing a whole bunch of panels that are these sort of imaginative interpretations of clouds and sky with just to mix things up like a random sort of red eye in the middle of it to tie it back to the other work I've been doing. Sort of this dream state, this narrative. And so very loose, very psychological, that sort of thing. Thank you. Thank you, Jordan. Right, no problem. I think we're going to peek into the other studios also. Mm -hmm. So maybe you want to just tour us around. And again, these are independent students. They're MFAs that are given a studio space to work within. Um, and during the day, they're working closely with our undergrads in the studios, assisting the professors. So let's just peek in. We have Ashley, Ashley's work. She's not here right now, but you can get an idea of the space. And this is Melissa Leo's work. Very interesting. Seascapes and charcoal. So collectively, um, the content and the skills in the entire department come together as one community, and that's what we aim for. Uh, the art education program um, works side by side with all of the other disciplines, and we share both space and we share content knowledge. And I think uh, we'll end it right here, and um, we're going to put these pieces together for you, and... Uh, I hope to talk to you soon, David. Thank you.